Afternoon. This is Jim from Bang Time Pool. So before the video today, I just wanted to give you a little heat index update. Um, how it feels here in Florida. Uh, heat index is about 105 today. So in the shade, as you can see, we're about 99 degrees. When we get into the sun, we're about 126, 127. I'm gonna walk over some dark, dark rock. About 139, 138 point something or other. Almost 139. And then on the top of my spa, I do have some travertine, which is always about 179 so obviously today being inside playing pool is a good thing or playing in the pool video coming up shortly all right this is Jim back inside after our little uh, heat index you see how hot it is outside I'm gonna play a little bit I want to continue with our series uh, what is causing me not to cue or stroke straight and causing us to miss some shots. Um, yesterday in the video, I talked about a, a lot of mechanical issues. Today, my first one, I want to talk about uh, a mental issue. And what I mean by that is a lot of my subscribers play league, league play. So if, if we were in a situation like this and they asked their captain for advice, the captain and the player may not be at, of the same level. So you get the advice, but you may not be comfortable with the shot. For instance, I'm on the two ball with the eight ball in the game of eight ball. And my captain may say, play some low right hand English, okay, great, okay, I'm going to go ahead and we'll end that game, but here's my point, set up kind of the same situation as close as I can get it, I may not be comfortable playing low right hand English, flirting with the side pocket and things like that okay I, I may not like to play low english period with a frozen ball on the rail so what we need to do in this situation take the advice of your captain but shoot the shot that you're comfortable with for instance if i'm going to play low or excuse me high left hand english i may not get the exact position that i want but i'm going to make the two ball in order to get on the eight ball. Now again, I left myself a little tough on the eight, but I can still power through and get a victory. I made the two ball, whereas if I had doubt in my mind, it's gonna affect my stroke, okay? That's another reason why we miss shots. There's doubt in my mind. I'm not comfortable with the shot. Shoot a shot that you're comfortable with. All right? Another reason why we miss shots. All right, my next example is, again, in my opinion, a mental issue. Um, game of eight ball. I am obviously on the eight ball. I don't have another shot left on the table. Um, but every shot prior to this in this game or the set, I have thought about English, line, speed, position. All of that is calculated. Now, a lot of mistakes that I see in a lot of players is, here we go. Let's just get up, bang it in. Now, 
90% of the time, 95, maybe 99% of the time, you, you step up and you bang it in. But that one, two, three, five percent times that you do not make it, and you want to know why, because we have gotten out of our routine. Stay in your routine. That's why we make mistakes with our stroke. That's why we miss simple shots. You know, I have a slight cut here. It's an easy shot. I make it 99 out of 100 times if I just step up and bang it. But we don't want to miss that 1%. We want to make sure. This could be for a set. Okay? So, again, think about where we're leaving this cue ball like we did in all the shots prior to the eight ball. Stay in your routine. Get everything calculated. Trust it before you step into the shot. So we want to stay, we want to get our line, we want to step into the shot, and we want to end the game. So think about these things before you rush to end the game. Stay in your routine. That's another reason that our stroke is inconsistent and we missed easy shots. All right, the third reason that I want to talk about today that we miss easy shots and, and, and it throws our, our cueing or our stroke off, and this will be the final one in part two today, and I will continue this series. This is a very important one. This is more for your beginner to intermediate player. Um, if you're an advanced player, you do not make this mistake, period. You don't make this mistake, all right? So it doesn't matter it, what shot I have. Um, the thing I want to talk about, and I mentioned this before in the previous example, you gather all the information and you step into the shot and you trust it. Now, what a lot of intermediate beginners, etc., they get down on a shot, okay, they see the line, they step into it, and they're going to play center English, but then all of a sudden they say, you know what, I need to play a little right-hand English. And they change the English while they are down on the shot, okay? When you have a great understanding of deflection, English and things like that, you know that now we have an issue on pocketing the ball. So what I want to say to that, again, gather all your information, line, English, speed, position, etc. Trust it when you get down on the shot and follow through with that exact specifications that you went over okay when we get down on a shot and we say okay and you're going to start changing when you're down on a shot you're going to start missing shots okay don't change english when you are down on a shot all right again sit back behind the shot See your line, the side position, get through the shot. Don't make that mistake. Again, I consider that another mental mistake. Okay, so today we had three mental mistakes that we can make. Um, I will be continuing with this series, um, part three coming up. So please, thanks for watching, first of all. Let's make sure we're being safe. Let's make sure that we leave a comment. You know, I love positive, negative, you know, whatever. Um, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like the, the uh, video. Uh, there's more to come. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're kind of at a stalemate right now. Um, we have about 125 subscribers. About 40% of us watching the videos still aren't subscribed. So help us out. Subscribe to the channel. And um, 
again, as always, um, I appreciate everyone's support and um, I hope this is beneficial to at least one of you out there. That's what I'm looking to do, improve at least one person's game out there. And um, of course, as always, have a good one.